the time has come, my friend. It's been a marvellous day today, but I am now going to leave you to decide which of these four wonderful, fabulous villages is going to be crowned Village of the Year. Good luck. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm absolutely wracked with anxiety about this. It's going to be really tough. Do you go with the village that has all the natural attributes, or do you go with a village that has fewer of those natural attributes, but is punching so far above its weight, and everybody is doing its very best to make it somewhere very special? Mm. And I think that's a really difficult decision. The sun's going down. I don't know how long it's going to take. I certainly don't envy them that job. But we're all waiting here with bated breath. Before today started, I honestly, I couldn't pick one amongst them. I think having gone through everything and met them all, I now have two that for me stand slightly above the others. They are both villages that have turned themselves around. So they're both very, very forward-looking, energetic mm. villages. We've got this real get-up-and-go spirit here. Where are they going to have a better time? I mean, is it is better it time to visit or better, better time to, to live? live? I think this one really does have more to offer. It's incredibly difficult, but I'm, I'm leaning towards a favourite at the moment. It's... it's so difficult. It's clearly been a tough one, but it looks as though they've made up their minds. Happy? Let's hand this over to Penny, then. Dear villagers, as you know, the time has come to find out which of our four finalists has won Village of the Year. Now, for me, you're all winners, and I thank you so much for all the efforts you've made. But I, like you, am waiting with bated breath to find out the decision of our three wonderful judges. What's it been like, Juliet? Well, first of all, I'd just like to thank you all for welcoming us so warmly. You've all been great representatives. And you are all, without exception, phenomenal. And we cannot tell you how difficult it has been to arrive at this decision. Here we go, Penny. Ooh. Well, thank you for everything you've done and all the efforts you've put into this grand final, which has been truly grand. We've all had a marvellous time, haven't we? I won't put it off any longer. The village of the year is Brushane. Absolutely unreal. It's just absolutely fantastic, really. Congratulations to everyone in Brushane because everyone played their part. It's such an honor. Difficult to judge between the villages, but I'm delighted that Brashane has come out on top. The people of Brashane have got heart and passion and commitment and a unity that shines through. Brashane has come out as the village that really, really pulls together and works hard to make life brilliant. This is for the people of Bagapo, and we look forward to be able to share that with them in the due course. What an amazing evening! And what wonderful winners and wonderful runners are. Yeah. Cheers to all the villagers.